All right, mud lovers, it's a beautiful sunny evening. Got the beers out. <laughs> hey, I'm and with Cuffs, and we're rich. All right. We've got detectors today, and we're gonna have a little challenge or two, see how many coins we can find. What's all Cuffs' idea? I think he might know something or two about this area. I'm expecting to win. Good. Well, there's loads, you know there's coins here, probably modern, maybe a couple of old ones, and everything in between. So stay tuned. Let's get some luck in the muck. Oh look, first find, looks like a gold bottle cap, bugger. I have my first coin, I think it's only a modern one. Let's go and clean it and see what it is. Have a coin Rich, have a coin. Oh. <laughs> I think it's only a penny. I don't know what that is. Might be a farthing, might be a red farthing. It's got a five on there, so it can't be. Maybe it's a... Oh, don't know, not sure on that one. I'll have to clean it up and let you know. Okay. Not sure on that, mate. See a head there. I see a head. Might be some foreign coin. We'll have to find out what it is and let Probably you know. The, the numbers at the top, not the bottom. Oh, the date? Yeah, yeah. it is the date. But it's at the top bit, not, it's usually at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so as I thought, this is a Ren Farvin. 1945, I think. It's not a bad little coin. First one's an old one. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? I don't know who's that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, do you I know think what? it's an Indian thing. Yeah, yeah. that's probably um, that's probably a, like a, an offering to whoever that person is. Maybe that like, geezer passed away. Yeah. Just like an old old person, isn't he? Maybe 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 we'll put out one back, eh? Because yeah, I think definitely. it's obviously yeah, definitely put it back. I think it's the tribute to rest it against to the him. Wall. Yeah, put it against the wall. Let him let him enjoy the view of the Thames. Can't show the coin yet. And a few moderns yeah. Oh God. Oh, I have had one coin. Have you had already? You've only been here five minutes. Yeah, for the moderns. Flipping it, man. No, there was them in there before. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're in the wrong They're all just pennies and two Vs and a five and a foreign or something. Oh, right. Well, you're doing all right, aren't you? Flipping it. Well, he's already won the competition. <laughs> <laughs> the traditional uh, competition, I reckon, was um, most amount of coins, mm -hmm. most amount added up mm -hmm. of spendable money, oldest coin, best coin so it could be like a modernish coin but a really nice one and then the best artifact so five competitions sound good sounds good to me got a chance of winning one each then yeah there we go so let's, let's do it i don't know if rich heard that but uh we're doing a uh, most amount of coins most amount of money all added up and um the best the oldest coin the best coin and the best artifact all right so whatever we get we'll just have a tally up at the end and see who's won what it's supposed to be a fun evening, that's into a competition. <laughs> I know I'm saying the same joke again, but it's because I weren't filming the first time around. <laughs> Thanks for laughing again at the joke. <laughs> the tide, the tide is high. Oh. Well, it's not all going to be metal finds and coins. We're going to find some other things as well. Interesting things like these claws. It's probably a modern crab claw, really, but that'd be a cool little pendant, wouldn't it? There's a plastic bag there. It's making a signal. What are Gun. I reckon it might be Indian offerings. I reckon it's a gun. A gun? <laughs> Is that giving a big signal? Yeah, right there. It's a plastic bag, guys. We have something in it. 
I'm going to say it's another million pounds. Oh, don't disappoint me like that. Oh, it's not. It better not be the like collar of a dog. <clears throat> it's hard to do it one-handed. Maybe it's a load of coins. underneath the bag. See that? Oh, it's a huge lump of iron. Oh, there you go. It's a coil. Oh, no, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing for... It's a bike. <laughs> bike pedal. No. Oh. Coin on the day. It's always a 50 penny. Six for me. What age is that? 46. Oh, I've got a 45. Damn still, it. Still got the oldest coin. <laughs> Warning, the following footage contains a sculptural nudity, in case there are any children watching. I just found something interesting. Oh, a little, yeah, cool little soldier. Actually, do you know what? It's like a woman. It is a woman, there's a pair of breasts there. Unusual. And she's holding, holding that area there. So it's like something fertility wise. She would have been sat down. That's like a little gaming piece, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, a little face as well. That's really cool. Oh, that's one, Rich. That's the best artifact so far, mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thanks. Fresh from uh, cleaning my teeth. <laughs> so this amazing lead figure is quite hard to date or identify come to that. The condition is incredible due to the Thames anaerobic mud where no oxygen can get to it and probably dates from Roman right through to post-medieval. There are records on the Portable Antiquities Scheme website that show similar lead offerings. Fertility charms often depict the exaggerated sexual organs, and unsurprisingly, there are a lot of male ones. Female ones tend to be of Venus, who encompass love, beauty, desire, sex, fertility, prosperity, and victory. Similar figures date back some 25,000 years ago to the Upper Paleolithic era, such as the Venus of Willendorf found in Austria. I think this one could be Venus, or possibly Sybil, who is another goddess. Other examples of Sybil that have been found in excavations depict plump women that have been sitting. Another goddess it could be is Astarte, which bears similar resemblances, but there are quite a few to consider, so if you have an opinion or you've done some research, please comment below. This will be sent to the Museum of London to be recorded and correctly identified. Yeah, Cuffs has got a nice little button. Yeah, a humble fly button, but it's got a name on it. Smith and Sons 72 Cheapside. Cool. Now I'll go on the uh, Thames Buttons website sooner or later when they get around to it. If that's not been recorded, we'll record it on our own site. In about five years from now. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Busy boy. Coin there. It's a bit unusual. I thought it was a penny, but uh, I have to clean it and see. Oh, machine token. Free play on the machine. Nice. Good for, yeah, good for free play on machine. Yeah, nice little gaming token, like arcade token. Cool. So there's been forgeries on the Thames for millennia, uh, and it still goes on today. This is a fake one pound coin, I think. I find quite a few in this area for some reason. We know these are pound coins because a load of them got thrown down here. I think they must have been uh, 
a bit hot, as we say. Now this is a fake and pound coin. I think we found loads down here in the past. They still crop up though, how funny. Oh, just pulled this up, I thought it was a musket ball at first, but I don't think it is. Oh cool, it's like a little hand. Check this out, cuffs. What is it? It's a little claw holding a bowl. <laughs> oh yeah, that's interesting. Strange little thing. It's strange. I've got <coughs> that. Wow. It's neat, isn't it? <laughs> it's the face of confusion on Rich. Well, it's obviously a claw holding an egg or something, isn't it? Yeah. An egg. Marble. Marble it means that could be an egg. I think it's probably a piece of, of a piece of furniture. Mm. But uh, that'd be a pretty cool uh, pendant, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, definitely. That's mad. Whoa. Oh, I'm made it. I'll have it off now. Okay, I've got my first customer. That was a strange coincidence. I found an object with the bird's claw on and then a crow flew in. But yes, as I thought, this is a foot from a box. A very fancy tea caddy to be precise, dating to the reign of George III. So it would have been someone's prized possession in the Regency period between 1795 to 1837. Remember, tea was very expensive back then, so it had to be kept under lock and key to stop the servants from helping themselves. Keep watching to see me make this into a beautiful pendant that you could own. Well, Richard just had a ring up. He screamed yes! <laughs> I said I haven't even I haven't proposed, mate, and he's already screaming yes. <laughs> Look at that beauty. Oh, that's well nice. Could be real. You never know. It feels quite light. Well, get it see. home and have a look and send us any pictures if it's got a hallmark yeah. or not. That's a beauty. What well up, mate? That feels like silver. Or maybe it ain't. No. It feels quite light though, no? I can't see anything inside. 52. Huh? The number 52. 52. Well, we have a coin. It's quite deep, so I don't think it's modern and it feels a little bit on the light side. I think it's probably a halfpenny. Give it a quick swirl. See if it's older than 45, I think, is the oldest we've got so far. Yeah, halfpenny. Oh, it's, uh, is it Lizzie? Yeah, as in Queen Elizabeth the Seconds. Yeah, 65. What's going on? What was like finding these? I've got the head torches on now. First little find with the head torch on is a little 303 bullet. Well, look, cuffs just can't stop detecting. The tide's coming in. <laughs> he loves it. He's done well tonight. I think we've all done all right. We all, all had a few nice finds, haven't we? Yeah. Cool. Let's uh, let's see what we found. One more coin. One more coin. One more coin. Right. So we finished for the night, and now we're gonna have a little uh, overview, a little look, and see what we found. Mike has got a pouch for the coins. This Check this out. Coins and crap. It's all rolling away. <laughs> They're musket balls. A few musket balls. Yeah. Blimey. You've been a busy boy. Oh, you've got a pipe. Yeah, cut the, there's a couple of the pipes. There's the other one. Flipping egg. That was another one. There it is. Oh, yeah. you got lead, lead, lead. Mike. Lead. So all oh, this is. Thames or what? <laughs> See all my leads in a different in a different <laughs> part of my. Uh... Yeah, Mike's found a few of these fake pound coins as well. That you can definitely see there. Queen is with the second. Another one there. 
and look, yeah, it says one pound on it. And obviously they uh, they got rid of them all because they were a bit nervous about being caught counterfeiting. And now we're finding them all. Mad. Well, little swan. <laughs> oh, is that the ring? Yeah, it's a little swan. I think it's a Pandora ring. Do you reckon it's a Pandora ring? If it is a Pandora ring, mate, that's worth a few quid. See there, though. Copper, just coming out there. Yeah. I think it's a plated one, unfortunately. So look at the diamond. Yes, yeah, definitely shines. I'll be happy with that, even yeah. if it is fake. Or, you know, costume, as we say. Costume jewellery. I want gold coin. <laughs> <laughs> we need somewhere to put the uh, musket balls. What's that? Just a bit of scrap. Up there, yeah. There they go, they can go beyond there, look. Up the ring, pulls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you done all right with musket balls, didn't you? Yeah. Well, might just start an hour before we got here, so... Uh, <laughs> Right, was it, where's your um Oh the old one? Oh look, he's even putting flipping bottle caps in there. Still, you just shove it all in the same Do you have like a good yeah. pouch That's the good pouch stuff. That's the good well, stuff. I'll, I say good, I mean it's the it's a absolutely you know, battered farthing from nineteen nineteen. Oh, you got the oldest coin then? Have I? Or was it twenty nine? Well look. Nah, nineteen. 1919. 1919. 1946 penny. We saw that button earlier, but there's another one here. It says Chorley Union Court EC. That's cool. Again, put it on the button website. Yeah. And then we have a little um a little honeybee here that's really interested in what we're doing. We've given it a bit of given it a bit of Lucas aid, so hopefully it'll uh, get some energy and fly off. Hope we don't squish it on the way, no, we'll try and take it. There's a little park up there, so we'll go and take it up there later. Sugar free, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a sport one, so I doubt it. Right, so here are all our finds of the day. Loads of loads of modern coins, and we've got a few pipes in the mix as well. Um, interesting finds. Probably go with this little claw of mine. That's really neat. Probably off a piece of furniture. Um, other bits and pieces, fake pound coins, half pennies, two peas, and and uh, this very nice little um, machine token. And uh, yeah, so the prize is worth, in order of how we said it, um, most amount of coins goes to cuffs. <laughs> well done, mate. It's not going to get me rich, but I mean, <laughs> it might buy me a can of coke. Um, <laughs> so the oldest coin goes to Rich with his Edward the seventh penny yeah yeah and we reckon that's probably about well, it's going to be between 1901 and 1910 if i remember correctly so over 100 year old coin so well done to rich Woo, well done mate well done mate um best coin okay it's a it's a it's a bit of a this is a you know clutching at straws here because all these are common coins but we've we've decided to give, to give it to me on this uh <laughs> with this it felt sorry for me but i've got a nice unique um little good for uh, free play on machine token so not technically a coin but it's probably better than marginally better than a half penny uh, so what on me <laughs> thanks guys <laughs> you could join in with the applause no, whenever you wanted um and so the best uh, so the oldest coin best coin um most amount of coins so mike gets what was the other one? Oh, so and the other one is most amount of coins added up so if, if i if, no, no, it's the most amount of coins in value. So if Rich had, oh, a, like, if Rich had a two pound coin, he would have beat yeah, her. Yeah. But if you add all these up, which he's going to do later and send me the amount, probably about 50p in, <laughs> in pennies and five p's. <laughs> but that's, that, you know, that's it, it's won it. We're not going to count these uh, knackered old pound coins because they don't count. Um, even so, Mike's probably found two anyway. A couple of foreigners. Oh, you've got a couple of foreign coins as well. 10 cent from Malaysia and a... Civitas or something like that. I can't even remember where that's from. I think it's Eastern European. Yeah. So like Baltic it. Baltic made of something. aluminium, aren't they, these ones? Actually, it's quite a nice little... Pro Portuguese? It's quite a cool little thing on that. It's like a yeah, nice little... Uh, days, I mean, if it's an old one, what's the date on it? Oh, it doesn't say, mate. It's got a little... It's like, lit 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 it's like Lithuania or something, but I thought they used Euros, so I may be wrong. Oh, 19... 
It does have a date on there, 1991, I think it says. It? Yeah, I'll see 91 on there. So it's a nice little, nice design on that, you know, that's a nice guy on horseback, yeah. but yeah, modern. And finally, Rich has done it again with his amazing little artifact of a little lady holding her private parts, <laughs> looking like she might be dying for the toilet, <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. But I think this is a little fertility charm. Maybe it was given to someone, or a woman, or a couple looking to have a baby, and it's something to do with that. But it might be something we can give the flow to uh, have a look at, or see if. Um, Mike's really good with his research, aren't you, Mike? So may, maybe we can find out um, if there's a, like uh, a yeah, similar. Lithuania, yeah. yeah, Lithuania. Oh, Lithuanian coin. Old coin, though. Yeah, 91 it says on there. So, yeah, great one, Rich. Well done on Artifact of the Day. So, there we go. Thank Fantastic you. day, boys. This is the ring that uh, Rich found. So, as you saw that earlier, there's some, there is some, a little mark in there. So, maybe, maybe, maybe it's. Um, it's a good one, but we, we're thinking it's probably costume jewellery, but still, nice little ring to give to the uh, partner. Cheers, Swabsky, I think. Oh, right, so it might be, yeah, it might be worth a tenner of anyone's money. Come on, you can do it. There's a plant there, you like plants. There we go, we put, we put him back in the relative safety of, uh, of the bush rather than being on the foreshore. Nice plants, aren't they? Boys, isn't they? Well, here we go. I've cleaned my little claw holding a ball and it looks really good. I haven't over cleaned it, I left it a little bit rough in places because I still like it to show its age. You know, it's been in the Thames for a long while, so I don't want it to be too clean. So, all I need to do now is just clean these little holes out. Well, that was easy. Oh, didn't even need a drill. <laughs> uh, so, now what I plan to do is make this into a necklace. That'd be so cool, right? So what I've done is I've ordered a couple of packs of necklace making kits on Amazon, and they arrived today. And you can see there that this is actually I think it's a 30 meter stainless steel chain, uh, and with some goodies. So I'll quickly open this one, and I'll show you what's involved. If you want to have this yourself, then um, go on over to Amazon. I'll put the links in the description below, and you can see the sort of things that they do. I just, it was about 10, 10, about 10 pounds I think for this, but it was, uh, it was pretty good. Yeah. All that lovely chain. And some clasps to go with it. I think that's really good value. You now unfortunately it's come away from China, but um, there we go. If we made it in this country you know, that cheap beat, I would have pulled it here, but we don't. So that's that one, but I've also got another option which I might prefer to use just because I like it so much is the uh, is the leather cord. Again, another pack from Amazon. I like this because it comes with uh, these little things you can clasp around the end. Um, so I think it's really good to make one of these and hopefully I'm going to try and make an adjustable strap as well. I'm, again, I think I'm going to put this on my eBid page so that you guys can uh, have a chance to own it. Even though I think it's really cool myself, I quite like quite to like, well, you know quite like to have this hang from my own neck. Um, in fact, this actually does undo, so um, or it's, it rotates. Look, didn't know that. Don't know if it's supposed to do that or not, but it does. <laughs> I might give it a little bit more of a clean right in those nooks and crannies, and then um, mount it to be a necklace. 
you want some fiberglass pins to try yourself, back on over to Amazon where I've got the link in the description below. They're really good for cleaning artifacts quite gently. Yeah, it's looking much better. Um, I think the bottom half could be copper and the top half might be brass. I don't know, it might just be the effect that the uh, mud has had on it. But this definitely looks like a slightly different type of metal. And I think what's happened uh, when they've made it, um, this has been screwed in. But it doesn't come out, it just, it just revolves. But it's got some nice uh, patina on there still, shows the character and the life of the object up until now. Um, so really happy so far. What I'll do now is make this into a lovely little pendant. So as you can see, I'm thinking of different ways I can attach the, the cord. And uh, that's one way, very simple, straight through the two holes. But um, and it does sit quite nicely. But what I thought I'd do, um, just to see if uh, it works a slightly different way, it might maybe sli slightly nicer on the eye. I wondered if I could put a hoop around it. Now the hoops they provide, they're absolutely tiny. So they won't really work. But they also make key rings from time to time. And in fact, I might make a few today and show you that quickly. But the hoops that they provide are much bigger. So maybe I'll put a hoop through there and connect it to the rope separately. So let's, let's try that. Okay, before I do that, I'm gonna actually attach this to my piece of leather, which I think is just a case of stuffing it in and maybe crimping it. So I like that, that's cool. So as you can see, the top of it doesn't quite go over the top of this little stem, just there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take the top of these little stems off, just so that the clasp can wiggle over it more freely. Well, I've done it. I've made these a little bit shorter. You can barely notice it really. Uh, but it just means now that when I hook on my hoops, hopefully they'll go on easier around the top like that and just move a bit nicer. There we go, much better. Fantastic. You can wear it both sides, wear it that way around, which I, I think I prefer. Or wear it that way around. And these two ends, I'm gonna make into like a little slip knot that can be maneuvered down, hopefully. Tea. What an idiot. I wasted good tea there. Anyway, make another cut and carry on. Right, let's try again, but not be so brutal. Move the tea away. So there we go, really happy with that. Adjustable necklace um, and a beautiful pendant now. Reversible. How cool is that? Stick it on and have a look. There we go guys, look, finished. How cool does that look? Nice claw with a ball. Come and have a closer look. I like it that way around because you can see the claws better. Anyway, if you fancy uh, owning this, I'll put it on my eBid store. The link will be in the description below.
So I was just going through a box of finds and I found this beautiful face of a brass padlock. And I'm gonna, I thought about making this into a keyring immediately, so uh, I will do. And I'll just turn it over and it's a nice little surprise actually. It's got in there uh, secure, which is a, a nice little touch. I think these were quite a common make, but nice little um, maker's marks inside there. Really cool little thing. So again, quite a simple job of adding um, Look, it's even got the hole pre-drilled for me, fantastic. So it's just a case of putting it on there. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put this on my Etsy store as a keyring, but if anybody wants it into a, a necklace, then maybe that um, might look pretty cool as well. Leave a message on Etsy and I'll always get back to you if you've got any special requests. And uh, yeah, here we go, we'll just lock that in. So a nice little bonus um, find from the archives. And then we have it, look, how nice is that? So here are all the wonderful Thames finds, ready for you to purchase either on Etsy or my eBid page. All the links will be in the description below. We've got shrapnel keyrings here from World War II that were bombed down, that blew up in the Blitz and landed on the Thames. I left them outside to create a nice green patina. We've got the uh, bonus padlock keyring there, which can be a necklace if you want. And also the coins dating from 1945 and we've got two there from 1965. And of course the chicken claw pendant or falcon or eagle or whatever it happens to be clutching that ball. So whiz on over there and see if you can get yourself or a loved one an early Christmas present. <laughs> there you go my lovers, hope you enjoyed that. Hope we're not blinding you too much with our head torches, but uh, thanks for joining us and we'll see you in the next of my adventure. See you later.